What to do, baby? This is Hikaru Lounge. I'm Aoi, he's Leo, and we're gonna watch Burning Comedy, episode three, right? Episode three. Yeah. Wow. Now take a seat and get comfortable, because we're gonna go into it. If you want to stay a while, go like and subscribe. We got a seat open for you. Now let's dig in. What? What was the disclaimer? Uh, Comedy. uh I feel like we need to go back and just <laughs> say the story is a work of fiction. All persons and organizations are imagined. The Kabaddi and game rules which appear in this anime are drawn from the original Kabaddi Kabaddi. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Oh. Oh god, this is going to be a mess. <laughs> well, obviously the first years are going to get their ass swept. <laughs> no question. Oh, definitely. I just realized in the background they were like, Kabaddi, 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 in the opening. <laughs> Wait, like this opening right yeah. now? Or do you mean at the start of the show? At Wait. the start of the opening. Oh, okay, I thought you meant like right now. No, 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 no. I'm like, I'm trying to listen for it. I was like, kabadi, kabadi. No, it was at the no. like the beginning of the song. They were like, kabadi, kabadi, kabadi. Ah, uh, I see, I see. By the end of this anime, this that word's gonna become a cursed word. <laughs> kabadi, kabadi, kabadi. I'm now learning how to pronounce it better, and I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey. Ah, yes, our resident oh. ghost boy. Wait. It reminds me of that one X Men character that can teleport. <laughs> you mean Nightcrawler? Yeah, yeah. with the eyes. <laughs> He's even got like black stockings or whatever that is. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> yeah. He basically turns into dust for a second and then just like teleports. <laughs> <laughs> struggle <laughs> teleports back into the circle <laughs> no can you hear it now <laughs> you missed out on it it must be a, I must be in a low vibration that only Kabaddi users can hear ah yes maybe <laughs> I'm the chosen one the true Kabaddi user <laughs> I should try it but I feel like I would get flung across the map Uh, maybe it's because they're not communicating. Who knows? Maybe. Uh, yeah, they're both hotheads. Because they got the perfect, they got the perfect combination. The Krillin guy looking guy. Oh, what was that? What? The Krillin looking guy got strength. Yeah. And our main white hair guy has speed. So it's just that they will know how it work well. Yeah. You don't have enough muscle. Boy, you got too much. You can never have too much. <laughs> yeah, too much of a good thing. Hey, we're on the mark. Well, Session. What is happening? (laughs) 
<laughs> what? I think they do a sign language. Well, not sign language, but sign signals. They're doing signals, yeah. Yeah. Sun. How are they still? Um, the numbers indicate a certain action. Okay. Okay, okay. kind of like in sports. Literally yeah, but the they call on quick. Did they get a little bit better? Mm, not sure. They can tell too. It's great and all, but if they can associate the number with the ta- with the action, then it's basically useless, and you just have to say, "Go left, go right, tackle." Right. <laughs> I was about to say something them is like, well, if they put up the fingers on their non-dominant hand, how would they know? <laughs> 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 I love it. I love it. <laughs> Big brain hours. I like it. Uh, I like it. Even I just lost a brain cell from that thought. <laughs> you need to give it back. <laughs> we rented that one out to someone. <laughs> Oh, they're used in the back alleys as a way to practice? That's kind of cool. For communication or for... Communication. Nice. Oh, God, this looks strong. It looks like they're carrying, like, a bomb or something. And they're just like, yes, yes, be faster. If they messed up, they would have to apologize to the public. (laughs) They're both dumbasses. (laughs) Seems normal. Mm -hmm. Just realize that he always just never has pupils. Yeah, I just kind of got used to it. <laughs> just, yeah. yeah, it just blends in with his face now. Hmm. Wow. What type of reactions do you need for that? That's crazy. I'm trying to figure out. Whoa. Dodge. Nice. Oh, okay. It did help it. Wow. Yeah, it did. That's great. Oh, damn. Oh, now you're getting trying trying to get cocky. I used that word wrong. <laughs> 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 
Uh, they got it. Now, how are they going to coordinate offensively? That's oh, right. no, offensively, there's only one person. Never mind. I forgot. Yeah, one person's one person. offensive, one person's on defense. So, one of them's a runner, she's a track star. She go right away. One of the... <laughs> just like a star. Yeah. Are we going to get copyright for this? I hope not. I don't think so. If we got copyrighted for that, that would be ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't even singing it correctly. I was singing it like a bee. <laughs> stop. Stop. <laughs> Did they just grab him by the... Oh, that was actually really smart. That kind of dirty, though. <laughs> it feels dirty. Not like dirty in that sense, but like playing dirty. Oh, how is how is pupils over here? Oh, Gotta yeah, you're right. You guys Why do I feel like him not having pupils sometimes is an animation mistake? I just call him pupils now because of the lack of it. Yeah. Oh. No. Oh. Yeah. Go, you go. Oh, damn. I'm gonna. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. This is becoming a... He's having the Kageyama high Q complex. Yeah, it's not even playing. It's a team sport, dumbass. Why are we getting background? <laughs> because this guy's a Kageyama. Oh, yeah. But actually failed in his sport. Yeah. Because he was Kageyama. But it's like shoot. Kageyama, but if he was an MC instead of it, like being the second he never MC. Had a Hinata. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, the bald it's a Kageyama hair. Kageyama that actually gave up. <laughs> is a Kageyama that's basically forced into sports constantly and doesn't know how to give up. Because remember, he was asked to do swimming, then soccer. Oh, wait, I'm mixing it up with um the gymnastics anime, Bakuten. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, he's just soccer. Oh. Oh. He got it. Nice. Damn, bro. I really don't like the way you talk, man. <laughs> Sounds so entitled. Kind of like worse than Kageyama, but like. Yeah, it's way worse. Yeah. Because at least Kage... Because, mm, yeah, I can't really explain it, but it just rubbed me way worse. Yeah. Honestly, there's probably a few characters I would feel that way for if I rewatched, like, some of the older sports animes I liked. Wait a second. I feel like I don't like him because he's giving me the same vibes I got from the MC of Redo. <laughs> Entitled 
Superiority complex. Chuny, yeah. Arrogant. Overconfident ass. Bitch ass. Rude. <laughs> but he's learning. He's slowly learning. He's not. He's just getting better at the sport, but he's still an asshole. <laughs> we'll see. The sport. Yeah. Ooh. Trust your friend. He's not a robot, dumbass. He can make his own decisions. <laughs> Let's go. And that's when he realized he will always be down. I'm going to do something crazy. Follow me. Actually, he's like and really empowered by the fact that he's like being teammates with people. Yeah. With, uh, you know, people that are competent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're telling me this is a dramatization of when you go on a whole bunch of bad teams and you finally find one that's confident. <laughs> <laughs> that's rough. That's rough. <laughs> Did he really just back heal someone? <laughs> Pretty much. Hurry up, run. Don't be a bitch, you're making progress. Yeah. Drop his ass. Mm. Drop him. <laughs> yes. Kabadi. Kabadi bitch. Kabadi. head is like please don't tell me I would say like comedy bitch when this game has historical context to it and then we get this flashback my, gosh. my brain <laughs> my brain is on just like X modes right now Why do you hate sports, huh? <laughs> I mean, yeah, that does kind of sound shitty. Can't relate. Mm. Cannot relate. Had to work for everything in sports. <laughs> yeah, same here. I'm I'm Krillin over here. This guy. I'm I'm the bald guy. <laughs> all the way. An earnest, hardworking guy. One that's that a bit crazy. True. But I'd take him over this guy's attitude any day. Yeah. Ooh. He getting double teamed. Okay. Oh, 
Uh oh. What? Oh, he grabbed him. Yeah. That's the first time they made the chain. Oh. Yes. Oh, shit. That was a good technique, but he put in good haste. Yep. Damn. He's right. You improve on what you are, dumbass. I'll go. He's so hard headed. I kind of felt that statement, though. When your vision gets blurry, that's how you know that you're really into it. Yeah, that happens multiple times during sprints. Yeah. Especially during the suicides <laughs> in a practice. Ugh. That was the bane of my whole existence, but gosh damn, it helped. <laughs> I kind of felt that because we used to have like a weird routine where... Basically, it was the fitness before getting into the actual sport that drained the living crap out of me. Yep. For me, the reward was playing the sport. Yeah. Everything else was the... I had to work for it. And the piece of parties. Sure. <laughs> a little bit. You got a lot more than me, but yes. <laughs> Well, that's because I got expensive taste. <laughs> uh, I just had a, a well-budgeted team. Yeah. Oh, oh, he joined the comedy team in episode three. <laughs> three episodes in, and he's finally in. Holy. Even though he's been showing up to the practices, like. Well, that was all just like the, hey. You want to see us work? <laughs> that, you want to see us train? That, Literally, that was all it was. That whole three episode segment. Bruh. That shit had been me? used to introduce the other members of the team that we saw in the openings. What the hell? Are you kidding me? Three All episodes. I got to see was this narcissist freaking head. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, at least we got to see Krillin over here. He was great. He He's great. The whole team is like... There's something about them I can like about them. This mm -hmm. guy, uh, I can see it. They get close to it, and then they go, like, reverse. They reverse back to how much of a dipshit he is. Exactly. Yes. It ain't fair. Yes. And we're supposed to be like, oh, but he can change. Nah, nah, bro. Nah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Try to um, be consistent. Try to be consistent. All right. Some face of advice when watching anime with us. Um... We have a habit of being more critical than the normal viewers, I guess. There's just some. No, things we're that... definitely way more critical than most reactors that I've ever yeah. that I've ever come across. Mostly with we're sports anime. Way more sports Mainly anime. It's because we have both of us, I'd say, have decent amounts of experience in our relative sports, uh, so yeah. we can relate to a lot of different aspects that they touch upon and the attitudes that they display within each character. You can wholeheartedly relate or hate. <laughs> Damn, Every you had a whole so scientific it. theory going on, Leo. Yeah. Nah, dude, I'm just trying to explain it for the viewers, just in case some of them will be like, wow. You assholes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're, we're just... Talking. Yeah. <laughs> 
it's just when you know a sport, you kind of understand the ideologies. But I will say one thing, though. Compared to when I yeah. first got into anime, I am so happy there is much more bigger of a roster for sports. That True. aren't just like season twos of other sports, but like still. Yeah. And even if not all of them are the best of quality, not saying that this isn't, this is pretty decent. Yeah. But even if they're not all up to par, you know, so this one anime, one sports anime could be someone's first anime. Exactly. And that would be a great way. My their favorite sport or whatever. What was your favorite sports anime? Well, your first. Uh, My first, probably Kuroko no Basket. Mm. Yeah, then I went to Slam Dunk after that. Oh, I think for yeah. me, um, oh, then you're oh. on ice. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> um, it was called Calico Star. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the title right, but it was a figure mm. skating anime that came out before. Before um, Yuri on Ice, it's a mix of before. a magical girl anime and a figure skating anime. Damn. Yep. That sounds like a match made in heaven, to be fair. Loved it. It was one of my favorites. It came out in early 2000. So I did get a chance to watch some of it, but I didn't know it was anime. <sighs> but yeah, episode three of Kabuki. Kabuki, Kabuki, Kabuki. Kabuki, Kabuki, Kabuki. Look Kabuki. at this boy. Look at his boy's eyes. We need him. He's probably he's literally was... called the strongest raider. Ooh. He's literally called the strongest raider. That's tight. He's also one of the smallest from what we see in the OP. So that's yeah, tight. but he's also one of the craziest. So hey, today. So he's not gonna be strong. Maybe he's probably I gonna got be like, your oh. money. Don't you worry. Sorry. I bet you he's gonna be like so much faster than our MC. He's gonna be ah. psycho. He's gonna be able to make a chain just by himself. <laughs> <laughs>